the fight world it's your boy ego and i'm back with some more boxing back in my segment ego weight watchers why i keep you in tune with the fighters their fighting shape their weights their physiques especially if they have a fight coming up now canelo alvarez he said no matter what even if floyd were to come back for a 50th fight he's fighting in september golden boy just did an interview and they said they're trying to finalize and line up his opponent they did say however that gennady golovkin is not going to be the opponent in september and there's a verbal agreement or pact to fight him maybe in the fall of 2017 and it's currently 2016 so i want to check in with canelo weight wise give some brief thoughts on it i did a video about this he posted this picture clearly shredded in good shape and someone did a dope tattoo of him that's dope and then he posted this now he's in good shape and if i had to take an educated guess which is the point of this video i would say he is going to fight at 154. i think the liam smith fight is a very strong possibility now i did a video just a second ago and posted that and it was from bob aram bob aram did an interview Bob Arum ethers Golden Boy over Canelo Smith. Pacquiao fight never negotiated. Now, for full details, check that particular video. But basically, to paraphrase, top ranks Bob Arum said he was never contacted by Golden Boy about negotiating a fight for Pacquiao. He thinks they were using that as basically a smokescreen to make excuses and justify the Liam Smith fight, which is probably the likely option. I would have to agree with Bobby and also from these progress pictures. I think. Golden Boy realizes that's probably likely the direction they'll go to. Liam Smith, there's not any kind of promoter issues. He's a UK fighter with uh, Frank Warren, I believe he's with. So you don't have to worry about Golden Boy working with Heyman or any kind of Cold War stuff. And it looks like Canelo, based on how lean he's been looking, looks like he's trying to manage his weight and make sure his weight is down so he can make 154. Now, the reason I think it'll take place at 154 as opposed to Canelo weight, because if he were to fight a guy like Liam Smith, there would be literally no justification for the fight other than the fact that Liam Smith does have a title. Even though he's probably the most unproven 154 pounder with a name, it wouldn't it wouldn't make any sense for Canelo to fight him at 55. Because by doing that, by bringing Liam Smith to 155, that's technically middleweight, so he would not be eligible to win the 154 pound title the other thing that's kind of weird that i do question for this i like i said i think canelo's leaning down so he can prepare himself to make the 54 because again the liam smith fight makes no sense unless it's at 54 why not make it a title fight he already vacated his other belt um the belt that he has in this picture he already vacated that gave that to triple g triple g's probably somewhere in the background because he was calling him out after the con fight so if you're going to fight at 54 against an unknown Liam Smith, then at least make it a title fight. You know what I mean? There has to be some level of incentive. It's not like Liam Smith. His name is ringing bells. But the thing that I still don't understand with this whole situation, well, I do understand it, but where it doesn't make sense is, again, per the video that I did covering this, Canelo Alvarez and Triple G reportedly verbally agreed to Mexican-style showdown in fall of 2017. It seems like by... By fighting at 154, you're kind of going the opposite way. I thought the goal is to let the Triple G fight marinate. He fights Eubank or Billy Joe Saunders or whoever. The fight continues to build and become allegedly more massive than what it is right now. And you acclimate to the 160 pound division. But if you're going down in weight and dropping an extra pound that you haven't done since the Floyd Mayweather fight, Floyd fight was at 152. And every other fight after that, Angulo, Lada, Kirkland, Koto, uh, Mirkan, all these fights were at 155. So why would you, your last five fights or whatnot, you haven't shed that extra pound. And again, to fight Liam Smith, you would probably want to make it a title fight. So you're, you're basically kind of backtracking. You would be going down to 154 when you're supposed to be building yourself up and becoming familiar with the 160 pound territory so it that doesn't make sense so it, it's kind of all over the place again liam smith fight doesn't make sense unless it's for a title because other than liam smith's title that he won via vacant belt it doesn't make sense to have that fight so i would assume if he does fight smith 
he would drop the extra pound instead of fighting at Canelo weight. But then the thing that doesn't make sense is if you truly want to fight Golovkin, then that's, again, backtracking because you're you're supposed to be gearing yourself up to start fighting at 160 or closer to it, and you're going the opposite direction. Let me know what you guys think. Ego Weight Watchers, drop it in the comment section. Make sure you like my video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off.